After her offensive remarks defending blackface costumes on Halloween, Megyn Kelly offered this apology. I defended the idea, saying as long as it, as it was respectful and part of a Halloween costume, it seemed okay. Well, I was wrong, and I am sorry. I learned that given the history of blackface being used in awful ways by racists in this country, it is not okay for that to be part of any costume, Halloween or otherwise. Did you think it was genuine? Did you think it was redeeming? NBC apparently didn't. This morning, Kelly didn't host her show. The network replaced her live broadcast with a pre-recorded episode. And now sources tell CNN she's negotiating an exit from NBC. Let's bring in D. Lemon here. Uh, look, I thought that you were very uh, persuasive and truthful in why this was wrong and why she needed somebody in that moment uh, to correct what obviously she wasn't aware of. But... If it is why she's losing her job, and you and I are both hearing reporting that there's a longer story here, mm -hmm. what do you make of the move? Of the move to, for her, of her losing her job? Yeah. Uh, listen, I mean, for anybody, I, I hate for anybody to lose their job and not mm -hmm. to pile on to Megan. A lot of people are piling on to her. I mean, she made some mistakes, and now she's suffering the consequences of those mistakes. But I also think that it is uh, partially the fault of the people who hired her. Because Megan's record, how she feels about things, and she says she's not PC, it's all there. All you got to do is do a Google search. And um, she's very spoken and outspoken in her views and how she, she feels about things. They knew exactly what they were getting when they hired Megan Kelly. Now, that said, it doesn't make up for the fact that she was unaware of the situation and what she did was insensitive. I've never said that it was racist. I won't go that far. But she was just... She's unaware of the, of, his, of the history, and she said as, as much as that. So I think the management has to take some responsibility in it. She has to take some responsibility in it. And I say that because, and also her representatives have to take some responsibility in it. You know and I know that in this business it's really hard to change and have the audience see you in a different way. She was a hard-hitting political journalist over at Fox News for a very long time where she took a stand on things and she was very adamant about it. And then to go from that to a lovable morning show anchor, it, she just wasn't seen that way. The audience likes authenticity. If you're going to be, uh, and I'm not saying she is, I'm just saying if you're going to be a jerk on television, then do that. If you're going to be a nice person on television, then do that, a sweetheart. If you're going to be a mean or be whatever it is you want to call it, then you need to stick to your personality and the audience will come along with you. I, don't, I think her representatives and I think management also did her wrong because they put her in a position that was not necessarily suited to her skill set. Not an easy uh, position for management here either because they're going to have to eat a lot of money. She was their highest paid person. She's one of the highest paid I've ever heard of. $69 million. Yeah. That is a lot of money, to, especially to be, I don't know if she's going to get $69 million, but she's going to get a, a ton of money to be sitting around doing uh, nothing. But again, she said something that she should not have said. Right. I said, we, we do this, you know, you and I are live. And you say one stupid thing, all right, fine, or one thing that's out that, that you shouldn't be doing or shouldn't have said. Usually people will forgive you, but if it is a pattern and you don't seem to understand what you're doing wrong or what you're saying is wrong, then that becomes a problem. D. Lemon, thank you very yeah. much for the perspective as always. I can't wait to talk to you at the top of the hour. I got something to tell you, to talk to you about it. I love the suspense. Yep. All right. See you in a few minutes. I have a surprise for you in the closing argument. Another guarantee. It's not...